Now that the Olympic trials are in the books, athletes all over the world are going through last-minute preparations before heading to London for the Olympic opening ceremonies on July 27th. For Aurora's Anna Lee, final preparations included a hero's send-off. Aurora, hometown hero. Thank you. Gymnast Anna Lee received plenty of honors and accolades earlier this week as community leaders and well-wishers sent her off in style at the Eola Community Center. For Lee, her selection to the national gymnastics team as an alternate is still unbelievable. When they called my name, I was just in shock and I just, in my head, I was yelling, I did it, I did it. <laughs> so, I was just so excited. Cheerleaders from Marmion Academy and Bardwell Elementary School cheered and showed off their tumbling skills. And Aurora Mayor Tom Wisner delivered some news from Springfield. And Governor Quinn has declared today as Anna Lee Day across the entire state of Illinois. After all the fanfare, Lee was surrounded by admirers and took plenty of time to sign every autograph. Lee will train with the rest of the Olympic team for a week in Texas before they head across the pond. This week, baseball fans had their eyes on Kansas City for Major League Baseball's Midsummer Classic. At Benedictine, the DuPage Hounds and the Midwest Collegiate League hosted an all-star game of their own. Scouts in town to see the league's best and a Yeti in town to do a little growling. The South All-Stars get on the board early. Northwest Indiana's Cody Dykema dropping a base hit in center field. Chris Stevens of the Southland Vikings comes home to score. The South put up two runs in the second. Just one inning later, Stevens at the plate this time, getting a fastball on the screws and putting it over the head of Bo Wallace for an RBI. 3-1 South. But Wallace would get a little revenge. Top four, Chris Hipschen trying to go six hole. Not so fast, says Wallace, north out of the inning. His DeKalb liner teammate Brent Turner also flashing the leather in the sixth, grabbing Chris Verdanga's pop out and firing to second for the twin killing. Still 3-1. Eighth inning now, Turner at the plate. Hot shot up the middle will bring in a run to make it 3-2, but it's not enough. The South All-Stars get the win. And preseason camp for area college football programs may still be about a month away, but a couple local players are newly minted preseason All-Americans. Cornerback Josh Mitchell and offensive tackle Jace Werkheiser were tabbed by D3Football.com as one of the nation's best at their position. Mitchell is one of two corners on the first team. He pulled down three interceptions last season and took two back for touchdowns. He was also credited with seven pass breakups in 2011. Werkheiser is a second team tackle on the preseason All-American team. 2012 will be his second season as the Cardinals starting left tackle. The only other CCIW player on D3Football.com's squad is Wheaton quarterback Garrett Metter. That's a look at sports. Back to you, Jen.